Hello everyone, my name is Nomus and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here shortly after our last episode. Oh boy, things are not looking good for the professor. I am pretty sure he, they are bit. Uh, I do want to just double check that though. Remember in the last episode, uh, we, were, we were pretty sure they got bit. Uh, we thought we heard the bite. We're just going to make sure now. On the hand, uh, they've been making some pretty ominous comments about uh, uh, being scared, and yes, they are bitten and infected. Okay, so the final hours or days for the professor. What can we do for them? Let's see here. We can... Isn't there a... Option to make a grave for the survivors. Yes. Dig grave. We need a shovel. Well, and then the corpse. Okay, well, we don't have the corpse yet, so. Nothing to do right now. But, yeah, things aren't looking good. We survived for... How long did we have the professor with us? Not quite two weeks. Probably about ten days. So I think it took us a, a few days to uh, get up to the school to find him in that first episode. Or maybe at least a day. Alright, well, let's uh, figure out what we're going to do here then. Uh, in between episodes, I did do some more foraging. And remember we found that herbalist book in the, or magazine in the last episode. So we can now tell what uh, berries and mushrooms are poisonous. So that's good. Uh, so we have another source of food. We have our fish uh, that we can get from the river just behind the inn here. And now we can get berries and mushrooms. However, both of our... Oh, no, actually, that's 80% full. I wonder what the... Uh, I think this one's depleted over here. But our foraging zones... Seems like it takes a few days for them to replenish. So, not outrageous. And we do have a few around the... Uh, like, that one over there is empty. This one over here is empty. So, we've got three behind the inn. Which should be enough for us to sustain ourselves over here by um, scrounging for worms, for fishing, and then berries and mushrooms on top of that. Uh, I'm not sure what we should start this episode off by doing. So I'm not sure how long the professor's going to be with us. Oh, uh, just prior to, um, or just after... Uh, recording the last episode, I had another crash, and uh, <laughs> I, it was just after I had put everything away from our the few things that we did keep from uh, our looting session. Uh, so yeah, uh, lost everything actually. <laughs> so maybe we should head back to the storage units and try and get some stuff from there. I do have the uh, stone axe with us, so yeah, maybe that's what we're gonna do then. We'll bring the uh, professor with us. She can go out swinging. So we're very hungry. We are in a bit of pain. I think that's our alcoholism rearing its head. Oh, and we have um, our fish fillet, but uh, it's giving us unhappiness now. So I'm just gonna finish this off before it gets any worse. It's no longer fresh, I guess that's why. We'll see how much our unhappiness goes up by here. A fair bit. I assume once it goes past that first marker, that's when our self-destructive uh, personality trait will kick in and our health will start to drop. So let's try not to go much higher than that. All right, and I'm just going to do a quick edit here. Uh, and we'll cut back once we are back up at the storage units. All right, we're back at the storage units. Uh, not much as far as zombies on the way up here. Just a few we have to take care of. Now with the uh, crash at the end of the last episode, uh, the units that we did open uh, reset, so we're gonna have to reopen these guys. Let's get out our stone axe. That equipped. And we'll start busting down doors. Hopefully this thing holds out for us. It's already at 50%. Let's 
Let's see what we got. Ooh, a garden fork. Nice, and another gas can. Take both of those. Uh, the gas can. Can I tell you to grab that? Loot room for item. Nice. Uh, no, uh, come here, come here. I don't want you to loot that room. Come here, come here, come here. I guess this is all considered one room. All right, the axe is holding up. All right, so it's the same loot that, uh, I think it's the same loot that we saw last time. Obviously, this one was already open, but we never actually grabbed this stuff, so. Got ourselves an empty bucket. There's a snow shovel in there. Get this one open. I don't know if you can um, tell the survivor to. No, I don't think that we can tell them to hit this as well. empty the one on the end had the uh, trowel and watering can but we did end up grabbing that one again but because of the second crash I had just after recording uh, that stuff was lost yeah same stuff so uh, I think there was a hand axe in here right Let's see if we can't grab that Uh, there is another trowel. Pretty low condition, but it's not like we are going to be um, using it for anything else other than gardening. There's that hand axe. We'll grab that. Take that gas can. Let's empty this one here so we can move that. You know what, maybe I should take those cigarettes. Because we will need those for farming at some point. Alright, this one had our gas can. I'm just going to take this stuff out. Then I'll have the professor pick it up. Baseball bat. Okay. Let's put this down. All right, and put those things in there. Gas can. And the empty gas can, and if we tell them to loot this for item, we're not in a building. Oh. Okay, that won't work. Gotta go in a room. Let's try... in here. Okay, so that... that, that, that... Empty gas can. Oh, I have a bunch of stuff I didn't drop off to. All right, well, let's just make him grab all this stuff. I did pick up a walkie-talkie off of a zombie on the way up here. Got a riverside map, okay. Uh, loot room for items. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Order. Loot room for weapons. Okay, take that. Order loot room items after he's done picking up that stuff. Ah, I don't know how we can force him to come over here. 
He's just gonna pick up everything over there now. Well, maybe I'll have to carry this stuff. So he picked up the other gas can. Maybe that's just too heavy for him. Let's try one more time. Loot room. Yeah, I don't know what else to... No, he does want to do it. Okay, I'm going to have to carry it. I got it for now. Okay. Uh, let's go grab some more units over here. Our axe is almost done, so... Might only be able to get into one or two. Guys have said it is possible to knock him down with the crowbar. But it would take a while. I was really hoping we'd be able to force these ones open. Alright, let's drop that. We'll give this a shot. Well, there you go, one shot. Another baseball bat. Uh, there's a better walkie-talkie. Let's take that one. We'll swap out. We got a wrench in here. Might as well start grabbing car tools. Another garden fork. Uh, lug wrench. Oh, and a jack. Okay. Let's grab the paintbrush too. Oh, I didn't grab that walkie-talkie, did I? And what do we got over here? Small shovel, or a shovel. Value tech radio. Oh, I should check, um, hold on, let's check for emergency broadcast frequency. We haven't looked really for that yet. That doesn't have it. Let's try this value tech radio. Nope. All right, let's get our crowbar out again. We did most of the heavy lifting with the uh, stone axe. Actually, the crowbar is uh, maybe a bit better than the stone axe. If not the same. Welding rods, another club hammer. Okay, let's swap that out for the one we're currently carrying because that one's almost busted. Another welder's mask. We'll take the scrap. I feel like the crowbar is uh, really not that bad. Oh, hammer, yo, let's try this. This might have it. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's too heavy to take home. Tire pump. That's all the uh, card tools now, isn't it? Oh, another propane torch. Uh, what else we got in here? Another empty gas can. Remember last season, it took us a long time to find any gas cans. We've already got uh, a handful now. And another generator. There are a lot of generators in this place. Okay. So that's the storage units. Fully searched now. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna switch out to our new hammer. We're gonna grab our duffel bag, get that equipped secondary. We should log a um, generator down at some point. Just get all this stuff out of our inventory. I like that we found another propane torch. Let's try to put this stuff away again. Alright, that's gonna be full. That's about to be full. Okay. Uh, let's take the garbage bags with us. We can do a rain collector at some point. See if there's anything we really need to bring down. Probably the booze. Okay. I don't think we can fit much more in here. That's the extra clothes. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay. We can always come back for the rest later. The rest and a generator. Uh, let's take a look at your health here. Let's drop it a bit. I think you're good for another, at least another day. Okay, we're gonna get the stuff home and then uh, we'll probably pick up in the morning, figure out what our next step is. All right, it's the next morning here, 6.30 a.m. Just gonna check some of our wounds. Looks like that's healed. Hopefully this is healed and then we'll go check in on the professor. They're still around. I see them talking. Oh, and uh, we got ourselves a foggy day here. All right, go over here, man. Uh, professor, call over. Let me do a quick medical check here. Yeah, health is down to 50%. Okay, so yeah, you are on the way out. So he's probably gonna be the last day. Uh, I found out that our fish fillets, even though we had a little bit of unhappiness with those, I was able to put them into a salad and it actually got rid of the unhappiness and gave us a reduction to unhappiness. So uh, something good to, for us to keep in mind. I'm actually going to go ahead and add some more of this fish fillet in here. And we're going to carry this salad with us today. Also had to drink last night, so our pain is gone. We'll throw some pepper in here too, since we have it. Doesn't do much, but adds a little bit of spice. Meta noise gunshots. Oh, should we fill up our water? Are we good on water? Oh, we are quite low on water. Let's fill that up before we head out here. I'm thinking of going to the gas station. That's probably not enough to fill it. I'll go to the tub. Yeah, I think we'll see how many zombies are up at the gas station. All right, we are August 15th, so it has been a week since the last helicopter. So we should have a few days to go. Uh, I got an empty bottle here, I'm not sure why. 
Not sure if I'll... Uh, I guess we should bring the professor with us. No telling how long they're going to last. Call them out. Yeah, that, that salad should be good for today. And we can always have uh, some berry salads after this. While we wait for the uh, foraging zones to replenish so we can get some more worms and do some more fishing. So once again, uh, we will do another edit here and we'll cut back once we are near the gas station. We'll see how crowded it is up there. Well, on our way up, uh, we got a lot of zombies moving off to the west. Not sure what that's about. They must have heard something. I'm thinking with the fog, we should be able to go a bit more unnoticed if the uh, that weather affects zombies setting in the mod plus or in the sandbox plus mod. I think it did mention that um, it would apply to fog as well as uh, storms. So this might be a good day for us to go to the gas station. We'll see if more zombies up here are also moving to the west or if it was just down in our area. If there are more moving to the west up here though, uh, that could be good as well because that would be moving away from the gas station. We'll see. It could have been that uh, gunshot that we heard. That series of gunshots. Yeah, these ones are moving west as well, so... Oh, I've seen quite a few... Quite a few bodies over here. Might uh, might not be as good as I was thinking. Looks like it's actually drawing more zombies towards the gas station. Yeah, don't uh, don't bother with them. Let's just walk up and see how close we can get. Where's the police? She says, oh man, that's a lot. Okay. This might have been a bad idea. Alright, come on. You already bit, so not much worse can happen to you. Yeah, it might be a, might be a bad time to, to go up there. Oh, oh, nope. Professor did not make it through that group. Oh no. Okay, so. So long, Professor. I think we should try and get our gear off of her. She's got uh, a helmet. What else does she have? She has that bunny hug, which is probably torn up now, though. And she was dragged down. Nonetheless, though, we'll want to bury the body. Ooh, that was a bit close. Okay. Where... Where is she? She's still down. Oh, they're feasting. Get our crowbar back, too. They were feasting on her. She's got that Adidas double bag, too. Yeah, there's a few things we want. Okay. No, nope, her uh, bunny hug's still in good condition, so we'll snag that. She was carrying a rotten radish, apparently. She had held on to that from the school cafeteria. Well, I wonder when we're gonna 
meet our next survivor. All right, take the, grab that crowbar too after we clear this one out, and then I have to try and grab the body. We'll take her back for a burial. Let's grab that. Okay. Can we get to her corpse? Uh, is it this one? Is that her? It's definitely not that guy. Not that one. Yeah, this is her, right? Yeah, the jeans and the jacket. Okay. Off we go. Take her back home. So we just need a shovel. Which... I may not have a shovel at home. I might have to grab it. Here, let's hold on. Let's put her body down for a second. I'll go grab one from the uh, storage units. Um, let's put something beside her. So I know that's her. Put the crowbar down. Okay. Let's go grab a shovel. Don't think we have one back home. And is it a specific shovel we need? One of the pointy ones? We can't add a cross because we don't have that hammer. We just have our stone hammer. All right, I'm gonna quickly grab the shovel and we'll uh, be back in a second. Okay, let's grab her and let's get home. I did find uh, one of those shovels that we needed. We had picked one up earlier at the uh, storage unit office, so we should be able to at least bury her. And then once we find a proper hammer, we can we can do a cross as well. So let's get her home. Well, where are we gonna bury her? So we're back in here, I think. Maybe even back, uh, back by the uh, the foraging and fishing spot where she guarded us so well. Let's do it right over here. All right, let's see what we can do. The grave. Let's craft one. I think this might work like the uh, the hydrocraft grave. Something we just place down. Let's see, do we have a grave now in our inventory? Nope. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, what happened? Oh, it's on the ground. Uh, okay, so there's no actual image for the grave. <laughs> okay, well, there she lies. Let's go ahead and remove the grass so we can actually see it. The professor always answering questions is now a question mark. Okay, well, maybe um, we can figure out how to add an image to that uh, at some point. Have a, an actual grave. But for now, that's where the professor lies. I gotta stop walking through these bushes. I'm gonna tear up my clothes that I've worked so hard to get. Okay, what do we have to drop off here? What did we grab from that? I guess just the items that she had on her. Which is good because we lost all of our clothing that we looted last episode. 
Now look on the bright side. Right, so we got a hoodie. Now uh, we do have one worm, so we could do some fishing. Got this duffel bag with the extra hard hat and the V-neck sweater and her water bottle. Let's toss that in there. We are hungry, so let's have some of our salad. I think we will use this worm. And it does say we have an 80% uh, foraging area right behind us, so you know, we could forge as well. No, uh, rotten stuff. I'm just putting it down here until we get a compost bin set up. Let's get our fishing rod out. To be a little bit careful foraging now that we don't have anyone watching our back. Uh, so let's do fishing bait. Well, and mushrooms and berries. Let's do all three of those. Yeah, potential. Potentially there could be some zombies along the river since they were moving west. So we should keep an eye out. Probably wouldn't hurt to do some shouting at running around at some point here. Try and draw any close zombies out towards us. Take care of them. Alright, we're going to risk fast forwarding a bit. Couple berries. Some more berries. Uh, let's go one more if we don't find worm. Okay. Let's, oh, we've got two worms there. Okay. I'm just going to switch it to just fish bait. Well, we'll do fish bait and animals. Oh, and it's down to zero abundance. Never mind. Okay. Well, we got eight berries. Some 10 hunger, some 5. Right, well that's, that's not too bad. Let's see what we can catch with these worms that we got. And I think the fishing abundance resets every day. It doesn't look like it's the same as foraging. They're not controlled by that same mod. Yeah, back up to 100. Socks. And once we're done this, there are a few things I want to try cat um, crafting. Small bass. Oh, and that's all of our bait. But I do have a uh, spear that I crafted a while ago. So let's try fishing with that for a bit. While they're doing that, look at our skills. So fishing is still quite low. Uh, we did get our level 2 foraging. I also got our level 2 sprinting on the way back home. We're very close to our level 2 sneaking. We're making really good progress towards blunt level 5, long blunt. So that's apparently going to be our, our weapon of choice. Most likely just a crowbar. All right, we're not catching anything with that. Let's quickly go cook this fish. Uh, some of you have also been wondering about when we're going to start seeing raiders. Uh, what did I set it to? I think I set it to 15 days before they start spawning in. So they should start spawning in tomorrow. And then we'll have a chance, a small chance for them, for us to run across them. And then the first raid, I think, is after a month. I think that's what the setting I used. So we're, I think we're about halfway to the raid. 
Uh, which means we'll want to get, uh, I guess, some more guns going. Not really sure what to expect. Alright, cool. Um, if I add another fish to this, it'll probably add some unhappiness. So I'll just leave that. And we'll just eat the rest of this. Yeah, we've managed to um, fill ourselves up a few times now with the last few days if only briefly you know what let's switch things out to a berry salad do fruit salad uh, not the poisonous ones let's add a few different types in here We do need to lose weight anyway, so berry salads will be a, a decent meal for us. I think I can fit one more in there. Oh, unhappiness plus 10. Okay. Well, our unhappiness did go away from before, so that's fine. Let's drop off these berries, and I'm actually going to move these out. I just wanted them in one place so I could show you guys. Put them over here for now. What does it take to make the compost bin again? Where is that? Uh, composter. Carpentry of two. So I'm going to have to saw some more logs up. Okay, well, I did say I wanted to craft some other stuff, though, so let's head up here. And if we go to our twine, we can make several things here, uh, including a new stone axe, bowstring stick, stick trap. That might be good. Try catching some birds, but I think our worms are probably better used for fishing. We're gonna get more food out of it that way. Uh, but we can make ourselves a scarf here. So we're gonna make one of those. It takes six twine, two sturdy sticks for knitting, and our scissors. So let's make one of those for some added protection for our neck. So right now. Our neck does not have any protection. Uh, the uh, gloves that we had on before, those broke on us, but, um, or wore out, but not like they provide any protection for us either. All right, so we should have a scarf now. And we made a green scarf. Okay, let's go ahead and wear that. And we can also make socks, long socks, woolly hat, winter hat, beanie, balaclava, scarf. If I make a balaclava, can I wear that underneath my helmet? Let's see. Let's test it out. Let's see. Yeah, I think we can. Cool. Very cool. All right. Um, was there anything else we want to make right now? Something I do want to make down the road are some leather gloves. But we are going to need a needle and a leather jacket for that. Uh, these are all uh, recipes uh, that Slender um, has put into her mod. Uh, it's in the um, oh uh, oh now I forget it. What's the, what's the name? 
the welder's saving grace. <laughs> Slipped my mind there for a second. Okay, so some other things here that I've uh, favorited. Make bowstring. Let's go ahead and make one of those. And then to actually make a bow, we're going to need a plank and then a carpentry of level two. So we really need to get our carpentry up. We don't have any more sweaters right now. Uh, we can make iron arrowheads uh, by uh, sawing up spoons, butter knives, or scrap metal. So it looks like we do have one spoon in uh, this container here, but I've already made some uh, some arrowheads here. Yeah, three, I made three already. So we'll, we'll work our way to getting a, uh, a bow and arrow at some point. I wanna keep this one spoon though, because we do need that for some other recipes. And to actually make the arrow, we just need arrow shaft, iron arrowhead, and fletchings. To make fletchings, we need duct tape, empty bleach bottle, or playing cards. So we should keep our eye out. I want to keep duct tape for other stuff, but we should keep our eye out for any more bleach bottles and playing cards. And then to actually make the arrow shaft... Where is that? Survivalist, maybe? Yeah, make arrow shaft. Just a sturdy stick. How close were we to our carpentry? Pretty close. You know what? Let's make a uh, another axe. Go chop down some trees, and we'll try and get this level two carpentry. Oh, and speaking of axes, uh, in between episodes, I actually did find a zombie with an axe in them, but it looks like they are no longer here because of some of the crashes I've had. Okay, never mind. Stone axe it is. Oh, time for a drink, Lenny says. All right, I got some logs over here still for us to saw up, so we'll start with those. Hopefully we don't cut ourselves. So it looks like we've got a hole in our left upper arm. Oh, we did cut ourselves. I was just gonna see if this, when we do get an injury, if it does put a hole in something, but it doesn't look like it did. But we did get cut on our hand. So let's go ahead and bandage that. All right, and what did that give us for? XP still weighs off. And I'm full right now, so let's go do something with these planks. I don't think I have any nails on me. I'll have to go grab some. Got one nail. We'll go um, barricade. Yeah, we'll do some barricading. Let's go grab some nails. Oh, he's all by himself now. No one to talk to. And he needs a drink. Maybe let's, uh, let's grab a drink now. All right, that empty bottle was from the last wine bottle I finished off. It's a rough day losing the professor. But on the uh, bright side, we have the scarf and a balaclava now. Life's not all that bad. <laughs> okay, so let's grab a handful of nails here. 
Uh, you probably noticed I did do some uh, barricading already. I kind of started in on, in on that. So we'll just continue barricading some windows up here using our stone hammer. Get some more XP while we do it. Um, barricade that again. Always like to see how much XP we're actually getting. So 104. So we get three with our 75% boost. How much do we get for a floor? Okay. About the same, right? We had 107 before. Well, if we barricade with all these planks and go sob the rest of what we got, it might be enough to get us there. Chop down another tree. All right, last one. Let's have some of our berry salad. Get a little bit of unhappiness, but uh, two and a half isn't too bad. Uh, we're very tired, so instead of risking it, we're also exhausted. Let's go to sleep here. And we'll see you in the morning. All right, we got a rainy day. Change out our hand bandage. That's healed. We are a third of the way to level one first aid. Oh, a very dismal day. Let's go. Chop down another tree. I think there's one more log here to sop. Okay, we'll saw this first. Don't oh, cut yourself. Okay, we're good there. Let's cut this down. Ah. Why is he going to that axe? Down. There we go. Takes a long time with the stone axe. <laughs> and it actually broke before we could even chop it down. Fantastic. Alright, let's try this again here. Alright, saw these up. Gotta be close now. Yeah, quite close. And we get the same amount of XP for sawing up the log too. Okay. Let's go do some more barricading. Oh, did I hear a zombie? Let's just do these windows here. Four nails left, two nails left. All right, a few more. 
to get more nails. And then we'll unlock several more recipes for us to play around with. And another handful. Alright. An even 18. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's barricade this. Another one on here. One more. And we're good. Without a book. All right. Carpentry level two. So, the bow, right? You want to make the bow. Make bow. Craft one. And that is going to take... Oh, is this bugged? It says required time one. Oh, it did give it to us. Okay, looks like it was stuck there. Uh, let's go ahead and make bow by... Combining the um, bow staff. Hold on here. What's going on? Let's go back to survivalist. Make bow. So we got the bow staff. Got the bow string. Something missing here. String bow, there we go. Bow, unstrung. Unstrung bow. Bow. Oh, what's going on here? Make bow. Hmm. This doesn't seem to be working. I think they've they're missing something in the recipe here. Yeah, because I can't make an unstrung bow. What am I missing? So I got two bow staffs. Option to make the bow, but nothing happens. Might have to delve into the scripts on this one. Try and fix that. It should be an easy enough fix. Okay, so we'll... Keep that for now. Let's just dump these here. We'll figure that one out. I don't think that should be too hard. Uh, what else do we want to do? I guess we can make some arrows. All right, let's make some arrow shafts. Let's get a bunch of archery stuff ready to go. those. Uh, so we'll need to keep our eye out for um, some extra bleach bottles or playing cards. Because so I do want to save our uh, our uh, duct tape for other crafting. And I want to keep this bleach bottle because it's working well as a uh, water bottle. Let's clean that up. Let's eat one of these. Let's put this chip stone down. And what else? What else? What else? More and pestle would be good to have. Let's craft one of those. So we don't have to waste time searching for one. Uh, we don't have any wire yet, and again, we need a needle for that. Just wondering what else we can do here. Do 
we want to make a composter, I guess we do, hey? I think that's something that we need. Get ready for your farm. So we just need five planks. What I call, so I can just unbarricade here. We'll just salvage the planks from here. Okay, I've got six. Is it raining up here? I think it is. So we could do... It looks like the roof It doesn't work on this. Uh, so it does appear to be raining here. Uh, we could do a farm up here. So we could do a compost bin up here. Uh, carpentry. Where's our carpentry? Furniture. Composter. Let's put a compost bin. Oh, we can't do it up here. Oh. Oh no, it is it is underneath because there's no puddles here. Okay. Remember the rain animation was throwing me off. Okay, so if we do a farm, we gotta do it back here. Or or right there. We can move these picnic tables. Yeah, okay. Let's put a compost bin. Composter. Right there. Right here. And we'll work to doing a, uh, a farm over in this corner. Right, so poisonous berries. I've got a rotten mouse in here. Radish, compost all this. Okay, good. Anything else we want to build? Anything else we can build? Uh, we could do the wooden cross as a temporary. The professor. Temporary solution. It's more than one way to pay respects. All right, so let's put right there. That's where the professor lies. And let's get our hatchet out here and cut down another tree or two. Make ourselves a little path to the fishing spot. And it'll give us more logs to, to saw up and continue leveling up our carpentry skill. And the hand axe actually holding out here. Not sure if I've ever done much tree filling with a hand axe. We do have a backup, so it's not, uh, not like we're wasting this. Where did our star go? Oh, and there's another cut. Scratch on our arm. Alright, saw up. Got some more here. And another one. As soon as we right as we finish or I guess whenever we get injured it stops us from 
the exact same spot. I guess it stops us from doing our task whenever we get injured like that. Okay. Is there anything else we want to do? I don't know if we want to start doing walls yet. We could do fences. We could do some... We could do some shelves. We need one more level to do crates. Maybe we should do some shelves upstairs for additional storage. Yeah, this will be the last thing we do. I think we're getting close to an hour. All right. Yeah. Let's do some double shelves. And Oh, I can't really do much in here. The bathroom? Nope. It's because I'm out of nails. Must be. So, uh, what do you guys want to see us do next? Are we going to go hunt for another survivor? Looks like we tore up our jacket there. Should that be our next quest? Uh, we will have the next helicopter to get ready for. But, um, you know, we've kind of stayed in this general area for a while. We could try and branch out uh, to some other spots. Do some day trips. Just let me know what you guys think down below. Just gonna put up uh, with me one more shelf here, and we're gonna call it a day. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to our friend, the professor. She helped us out, uh, kind of establish our foothold here in the Valley Station area. But um, yeah, unfortunately, she got bit. So uh, we will keep our eye out for another survivor. I'm gonna do some uh, inventory organizing here. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, welcome to all the new viewers, hopefully you guys uh, continue to stop in and check in on Lenny's progress, and until next time, I'll talk to you all later.